Exeter missing a few frontliners, so it is a callow, albeit talented bench. Greg Fisilao and Zach Wimbush both just 20. Much will be asked of props Danny Southworth and Marcus Street. This is very much Juan van Kran's Bath A team. All but three of his starting 15 are full international players. Thomas Dutoy, one of the biggest world champion sprint. Here we go. Sandy Park packed. Two Premiership clubs with Champions Cup stars on their jerseys. It's a local showdown with European flavour. Two. Four minutes played. Tom Dunn. Claret streaming from his dome. And they have the wind in their sails for the first time. Bath into the home 22 for the first time. And this red twirling juggernaut up to the line. Is there a grounding? Penalty advantage at worst. They won't need it. One shot, one kill. Chiefs weren't quite ready. That power from Alfie Barbary, I can't quite believe they stopped him. Sorry. Monstrous power from four or five metres out from him, stopped short. And Thomas Dutoit just scores tries. He scores so many tries. He's a very big man, but there's a lot of those about. He's particularly, I mean, this won't be the hardest finish of his life. He got Chiefs players in there. More working their way up the pitch, scrum penalty advantage, and then... Oh, Barbary's lost it, and Vincent accelerating away! Ralphie Barbary juggled the first kick off. He wasn't comfortable under that. This he knocks on big time straight into the arms of the quickest back row on the field, I expect. Or one of them. Rapid. Couldn't land in a worse bloke's hand. Horrible moment for him. And just quickly, I know it's early days, but any word on, on Finn Russell? He looked to have a, a leg injury as he came off. Yeah, no, no word on that. We'll worry about this after the game. Game is much more important. Well, here goes Ted Hill, galloping free. Finn Russell's not got the legs, and neither has Hodge. You get your rewards. Ted Hill, like any good winger, would. Eyes on the ball, gets up, competes. And then it's just about, has he got the wheels? And yes, he does. That's Josh Hodge. And Faye will both so try to track him down. Can't get near him. That's a big score for Bath. Hey, do you know when Ross Vincent scored off the kickoff a minute ago? A freakish try at that to show for it. The West Country showdown, 40 decisive minutes to settle the bragging rights and the passage to the quarterfinals. Tuima motions for support. Shunza lays it back neatly. Roots, fail of also. A metre out. Fisilao off the bench, over the line, ball down. But again, Ethan Roots, relentless carrying, this time he pops it. You're using a right winger to make an impact on the pick and go, or in tight. It's a brilliant idea, I think it's an underused idea, especially for teams that has wing have wingers as powerful as Faye were both. They're back! Time's end. Faye were both so... Again. My goodness me, Townsend sniping, he's drawn the penalty, he might have the try, Roots! Offload here by Chunza, keeps momentum in the attack and then you'll see it here, I mean, <laughs> it's brilliant, he's saying go left, no, the ball comes to him, through two players again, through two meters props. after contact. And then it's can they get the decisive score? The Ruth face. pops up. No problem. So the, 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 TMO, checking that. the TMO check if we need. We control that after, okay? okay go, go with your team. We Thank you. Go with your team. Par compli, Patrick. But it's oh, Ethan Roots. You're checking that on Ollie Lawrence. It's Exeter's ball. It's Exeter's quarter final. This new Devonian dynasty is taking Europe by storm.